and my first coach, and I'm really excited to help people. It's nice to meet you. You're the person that keeps popping up on the ticker. Like in our back office or uh, Connect, there's like a little ticker that says when people are starting clients or coaches. I'm like, who's Kayla? Like, this is awesome. Congrats and welcome. Thank you. All righty, everyone. Let's see here. It's 7 o'clock. Still people are tuned. Let's do one more. Like, I know you guys got a lot of great stuff happening. <laughs> Hold on here. I'll jump in, Brad. Go for it. Hi, this is Susan. Um, my NSV for the past couple of weeks has been when I started health coaching, I was really concerned about how I was going to balance my corporate job with this. And I was, um, it took me a while to sort of work the integrated life, but I've been able to do that over the past few weeks and just love it. I just really, um, enjoying being able to do both. Um, and not have one interfere with the other, it's been great. That is a big, so, so for NSB, for those that are new, non-scale victory. So that's been it. Susan, congratulations for Thank you. finding your groove. It feels good, right? Oh, it feels great. And it's like, once I got it, um, you know, I think this is, I'll just give a little tidbit. I think everyone can appreciate when you work in big bureaucratic corporations, which I do, there's so much downtime that is so frustrating. <laughs> people don't show up for meetings, people late for meetings, uh, meetings going off track, and I can just take my phone and work my business on the side, and it's my personal phone, and it's not tied to my corporate job, and I'm loving it. Well done. That's actually like a big, like, thanks for the lead in today, Susan. That's perfect. Yeah. Like, that is awesome. Yeah. All right. It's 7.01, so let's get started. I'm warning you, I've got energy, so I hope you do too. East Coasters, you're probably okay. West Coasters, take a sip of coffee. Um, where's everyone tuning in from? We have 90 plus, almost 100 people on right now. Where's everyone tuning in from? I think it's so cool that across the country, like we're all together doing like the same thing. I love it. Texas, Florida, Wisconsin, Idaho, Nevada, Arizona, California, Virginia. Yeah, we're all across the United States. It's fantastic. Here, let me make sure everyone's muted and we will jump in. Okay. All right, and get the chat ready today. We'll be answering a lot of questions. This is the second unplugged training that we did. Last week, we like covered like a bunch of like vision type stuff. Like some of you guys haven't even been coaches in the new year. Some of you like don't even know like what's possible and what's gonna happen for you and your and what's possible in your health and your business over the next few weeks. We got organized tons of great tips on organization and actual practical use um, of the binder. Like Drop me a one in the chat if you guys found that extremely helpful to like see what real people that have been coaching for a long time actually do. Like I got so many texts about like, oh my gosh, I cut my binders in half or like I put the tabs in like Susan said, like all those things. So that was good. That was fantastic. We covered a lot of great things like what was the thing that improved most in my, my health this year, my business? What do I want to accomplish most? Like structural tension type stuff because that's what Dr. Ray teaches us. That's our key to helping others move forward. This week is all about action. So this call is for everyone that wants to blow up their January. Like, so like be on top of it, see the best results. A lot of you guys are already seeing that. So like basically, this is kind of what I see is um, some people are just like, they're there. They're already going like, we've started over 200 clients in the last five days as a group. Like that's incredible. That doesn't even count restarts or people just taking their health to the next level. We've had new coaches join our business like it's fantastic so like we're on the right start sometimes and some but some people are like sitting there like okay january i knew it was gonna be awesome but they just like they knew it was so awesome that they just have kind of sat there not doing anything so this call is to be a time to draw on the sand if you want to take massive action and have the best new year possible we're gonna go over what to do today i'm pretty excited because i have i just literally gathered a bunch of people that are doing it. like i grabbed I grabbed a combination list of the people that ran the highest frontline volume last month, sponsored the most people, are running the highest frontline volume today, or the people that started the most clients since December 1st. And we're going to have a combination of them speak today and just literally drop knowledge on what they're doing. I think you'll be surprised because it's all the same things. They're just getting into the groove of their action. And then we're going to leave you today literally with everything you need to do, like a list of just massive action you can do. So I hope you have a map a well, hundreds list and a notepad because that's all you need today. We're going to literally give you like a ton of things to be doing right now to show you what it takes 
to take on the new year. I'm just gonna check the chat real quick. Is there a recording after the first call? Yes, it's uh, posted in the Facebook group. Um, so um, Andrew, connect with your coach and they'll get you that. Um, yes, we always do all the recordings on good questions. Um, do, 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 do. A lot of good wins on here. So this is fantastic. All right, let me jump in and share my screen here. Um, if you are a new coach, welcome. The best thing to be doing as I share my screen here, hold on, is connect with your support team like Kyla was talking about. Do your first few reach outs. Get confident with reaching out to people. Start your first few people on your journey. A lot of the things we go over today will be great for you, but that's the best place to dive in is your first few people. Like why we love this so much is we keep it simple. If you can start five clients and get really comfortable with that, that's all this business is, is helping people awaken their health and starting people. I do the same thing that I did like eight years ago today, still just sharing and inviting people and helping them get started. So uh, this is going to be a little bit more unplugged, a workshop style. If you got questions, drop in the chat. Actually, Don, will you double check to make sure I don't miss questions in the chat? But we're going to be unplugged today and we're going to go over all the things to be doing right now. So um, many of you guys have been consistent for the last few months and you're seeing it in your business. I mean, heck, like Tracy, you ran over 10,000 frontline volume last We had some people hit their peaks of their business in December. Like it was, an, it was actually the first time we've ever grown in the month of December. It's fantastic. You guys have been consistent. And if you've been around for the last little bit, you know this slide and you're seeing it right now. The thing is right now is what are you gonna create in the new year? Because massive action right now, built upon like the foundation you laid in December, builds into February. So I wanna show you guys this real quick for those that haven't seen this that are new. And we're gonna show you some things to do today, but it's the consistent effort that we'll show you. There's, there's no secret to coaching and breakthrough in people's lives. It's consistency and building upon each other. Like again, like back to like a lot of people were like, oh my gosh, it's finally January. We've been talking about it forever. And they just kind of sat there it still takes the same daily action every day. Like when we show, we showed a bunch of businesses last month or last week that like really excelled like because of what they did in the new year and just nominal growth. Basically, it's just focus right now and doing the daily action. So I wanna show you guys this real quick. December, a lot of people don't wait till December. So they are till January. So they get started now or you're layering people. January, people are looking for help. They're deciding to start it but you're still gonna have some holdouts or people that go try to do something else or the people that go clog the gym up because they think working out's the way to lose weight or the way to a healthy lifestyle. By the time you get to February, you have your first people that are like ready for coaching or like inspiring other people or referrals from those people or people that are inspiring other people you're talking to or the people that were the holdouts that were like, oh my gosh, why did I wait? Like I need to do something, it's February already. And then it just builds on top of this each month. So you can see like why right now, like why we're talking about blowing up uh, January is because it just starts helping create a wave that will like build through the new year. The more you build your wave right now, the more momentum you have on it. So anyways, for those that have been on our trainings, you guys know that consistency is the key. I'm just gonna make sure I'm not missing anything in the chat. Let's see here, do, 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 do. Ride the wave, yeah, Tracy. Um, yeah, okay, no, no questions on this. Being consistent is so the key. April, I love what you posted in the group. It's like consistency, consistency, consistency. Most people don't see the breakthrough because they give up right before like all their hard work pays off. So I wanted to show you guys that because you guys have, you'll, you'll hear some examples today, but you have no idea how many people are watching, what's going on, like and what's happening underneath the surface as you build on top of each win um, and we start this new year. So I'll get to this slide later, but we'll have a training at the end of this month. And it's like, if you're a newer coach, like embrace the process. Like we have a proven system, but like you're new at this. So make sure you link arms with your support team. It gets easier and easier. Success doesn't look like a straight line. It looks like a lot of little learning curves and that's how we all got here, just like our health. So anyways, Jumping into today, all right, you guys, you guys got your piece of paper, you guys got your notepad ready to go. Like I'm, we're literally going to give you a ton of things to be doing right now to blow up your January. So this is like the main list, and then we have a, I have a list at the very end after we have a few people share. Is one, this is how like, if you, if you are already here, great. Just count it as like, you, you're like, you're already got a running start. And if you're not quite here yet, do these things today and join us in building action in your new year. So number one is lead with your health. 
if you are not taking yourself to the next level of your health at this time, you are not setting yourself up for the best success possible. You don't have to be, and again, remember, there's no pressure on this, but again, moving forward in your health, we don't sell, we don't tell, we inspire with our example. So when we push ourselves to go forward, people want to move forward with people that are moving forward. I mean, think about every person that you are here with. Weren't you inspired by someone saying, I want to move forward and, and you seeing progress in their life? So wherever you're at right now, I invite all of you to take that next level of your health. Plus, if, you, if, if some of you are working jobs, some of you are busy parents, like that's even more of a full-time job or whatever the case is, you're in fat burning right now, like that's so much hours added to your day that you're not cooking meals or going out and finding things and it's so much more energy. Get that going and lead with your health. Plus, this is just all authenticity. Like when you lead from your health, you're more apt to share. Again, we don't sell and tell. This is our own personal journey we're living out and inviting other people to. So first and foremost, that's the most important. So like Tim, well done, my man. There's no, there's no wonder why you and Kelly have like the highest frontline volume in January after six days. Um, number two is work your map and your 100s list daily. I'm gonna go over this in a second. I show you. I told you guys we'd show you how to start your map because there's a little bit new of a of a bat or you know connect. So how to do that? But remember that your map's not a to-do list. Like the people that grow work their map and their hundreds list daily. They're real people. They're real people you're reaching out to. They're what you focus on is what grows. So when you're focused on your map and planting seeds and moving forward and remembering the people and living and breathing it, that's when it grows. I'm going to go over that in a second. And I would also encourage you, don't make your goals small this month. There are so many things. Like, it's open season right now. Feel free to make it huge and make a big, like, go grab as many people as possible right now. Cast your net wide. Number two is, or number three is, work with the coaches on your team. So if you have coaches on your team, remember that this is a partnership with people. No one just moves forward by themselves. And that's also for you new coaches. Work closely and stay closely connected with your support team. But for you guys, grab your coaches, share with them what's possible, link arms with them, and make sure you're working with them on your team. And then the other one is directly reach out to people. I'm going to show you guys a bunch of things today that you can do to build your brand, social media, cool stuff like that. But like, it's so easy right now. Like you could reach out to anyone at any time right now and at whatever personal level and invite them to take their health to the next level right now. Like that'll be one of the main action steps is literally sitting down and taking massive action on reach outs, invitations, direct, bold invitations. And so the last thing on this is actually be doing right now. And I'll have a whole list of like tangible things you can literally be like, oh, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do that after we have a few people speak. But the other thing, is you guys, is today, on top of all these things right here, is commit to massive action on building your brand and connections via social media and in person. It's a combination. We call it three, three, and three because it's just a layout of how to be on purpose every single day to be in connections, like a litmus test of how to be out there. So I wanna share with you guys a few things. And a lot of you guys watched my video yesterday, but, I don't even know where to start with this because this is so cool. I'm, I'm excited for other people that like some, like I'm gonna have like Lisa, Jen, April, like a bunch of people share because you guys are doing this. Like Lisa, I'm gonna have you share. Like I can't open up my Instagram without seeing you and posting about health. Like I just want to live in Arizona and get healthy every time I open my Instagram because that's all I see is Lisa getting healthy and doing hikes and doing cool things in a pool when it's pouring down the rain. So you guys, I'm going to relate this to sales, but we don't do sales. It takes five to 12 touches, follow-ups, um, passes, whatever the case may be, for someone to generally make a decision on something. So what is it that you're doing to be in action, connection, layering, building your brand? When people think of health, when people have that like that go-to moment when they're like, you guys all probably remember where you were when it was like, oh my gosh, I've got to do something with my health. Or the time when you were inspired by someone, maybe it wasn't that bad, but are they going to be thinking of you? This layout and being consistent on it will help you be that person, have those touches. Plus, just the world is changing, you guys. I used this example in, in, um, in my, uh, my uh, live yesterday. But it, for example, if you guys, again, the reason why we, we connect in person and we live really well in social media is think about it. That's where the value is. If you guys were going to take a trip to Disneyland right now, would you guys go to the Disneyland website? Or would you go to social media and say, hey, I'm thinking about taking a trip to Disneyland. Who has tips, ideas? 
people go where real voices are. That's where social media is. That's where people are making decisions. So make your presence, your advertisement, but really more your inspiration known on there by being consistent on that. The other thing on that is, you guys, it's like, it's, it's instant connections constantly there. So when people are thinking about you. So on top of that, those reasons right there, is there a thing called algorithms on Facebook? So Facebook's like the platform. They get to choose whatever they want to do. They get to promote what they want. Did you guys know that there's like, there, like every social media platform is vying for the top social media spot? So they're gonna do things that make their, their social media campaign more valuable. So that means if you are a person commenting that gets a lot of interaction, that messages people, you're going to get put up more in the algorithm so more people see your stuff with the people that are on your friend list. So there's a few things on that. Is one, I think it's only, maybe Don, maybe you can look it up or someone, maybe someone knows the answer. I think it's 8% of your friends see your posts on social media. So that means every post you do, only 8% of your friends are seeing it. And sometimes we think like, oh my gosh, I made that one post. Everyone in the world saw it. It's like, no, they didn't. There's a sl slim chance they saw it it goes up the more your algorithms are better on social media. But that's the thing to remember. That's why we talk about posting consistently. Um, these are the other things to be really doing. Uh, Facebook right now is trying to be the number one video platform for live videos. So number one, don't post YouTube videos. That is a direct competitor of Facebook. They don't promote it in the algorithm. So posting YouTube links equals Facebook not liking you. Um, but live videos are, they say if you're doing live, they want to promote you in the algorithms. Plus, guys, just think about it as I'm talking here. It doesn't even matter if people watch what you're saying. When you see someone going live, doesn't it give you kind of an instilled confidence that whatever it is they're talking about, they're confident about and they're sharing it out there. Plus, they get to see you face to face. It's not just a post or a picture. People want interaction with people and social media is a bridge to having more connection with people, seeing people. So lives are huge. Another thing that's kind of changing right now is, um, I don't know if, it, if you guys are cool enough to use Snapchat. I know I'm not cool enough to use Snapchat, but I'm here, it has the coolest filters. My wife fills me in. Face, our Snapchat has a thing called stories, and it's basically where you post and it like shares your story of what you're doing, like post after post. Well, Facebook and Instagram, because they're the same company, are direct competitors with Snapchat. So now they've added stories to their deal. It's where you can add pictures into your day, people can see it. And that is gonna go even further in the algorithm. So if you do stories like that, it gets you promoted more in the algorithm so more people see it. Another benefit to the stories is one, you can create a story. Like if you guys wanna see a cool story, I don't know if, because it only lasts for 24 hours, go check out Ashley Miller. It's like she posts about her meal, like meal plans and the cool things she's doing every day. Like it's so fun, like she keeps it fun and simple. So it's ways for people to see your branding um, a little bit more. But a cool thing about stories is that when you do that, instead of commenting, because you guys guys think about it, like when people comment, you don't get to like have a direct conversation with them. You might interact with them a little bit, or you may not. In stories, when people comment, it goes to a message directly to your inbox, so you're in communication with them. So what does this all mean? Basically what I would say is just remember to be social and be super consistent. I'll break down the three and three later, but it's basically posting, adding friends, um, and um, messaging people each day. Like if you do that, your algorithms will go up, your advertisements go up, your touches go up, your brand goes up, more touches with more people catching away. If the stories seem a little bit too like crazy for you, don't worry about it. Just posting on social media alone will up your algorithm. I'm trying to make sure I'm not missing anything on here. Let's see here. Got anything in the chat that I need? Let's see here. Nope, we're good. I just wanted to say that I did a quick research and it says, about 16% of your posts are seen. That's if you're moderately active. It can go down as low as two to 6% if you're not active. Yep. Also, not that any of you guys are doing, thank you, Don. Copy and pasting. Facebook can tell when you're copying and pasting. It does not like that. You guys, we bring value to people. That's the way to do it. And you guys, there, I'm not gonna get into it, but there is a lot of different, you know, I'm not saying they're good or bad. There's a lot of companies out there that just literally pump social media um, to sell their stuff and Facebook and social media doesn't like that. So they have algorithms to not promote the people that are doing that. So if they see the same post done, I don't know if you know that companies do that, like other companies, they just like copy and paste the same thing. 
they'll catch that and they will drop you in the algorithm because they don't want people spamming people on social media. They want people bringing value. So again, this is a great way. And again, these are three, three, and three. This is a great way to use social media, but you've got to be interactive for this to really work. Like this, you can't just sit. There's no, there's no secret Facebook hack. This is just a way to be more present and have more presence when you're on purpose with the things that we do daily. So is that helpful for you guys? Like, does this good information so you guys get that? Like, okay, cool. Allison, I saw you just post in the chat. You know big time on this. You are a great example of keeping it fun, bringing value. People think about you constantly on this. So um, I won't get into it today, but basically don't sell. Don't say, hey, I'm a coach who wants to get healthy. Bring value. Let your brand um, share with people what you're doing. Like basically create so much interest that people want to reach out to you or think about you as you're being diligent each day. Don, uh, Kelly, Denise, I mean, anything you guys want to add to what I'm talking about here? Like, we'll go over some more things to do, like, right now. But, like, as far as drawing a line in the sand, if you do this right now and commit to this action, you will have a crazy year that you don't even understand. So, like, anything you would add to any of the things I covered here that would be perfect to jump into? Well, Brad, there was a question in the chat about Sinduit posts and if those don't really work so well. And I would say, if it's not you live posting it, I'm not – I don't personally use any sort of thing that posts automatically to my page, but. That is a good question. And I only speak on stuff that I know, like I actually know facts on. Um, I would imagine that Facebook would be able to tell when you're having a third party automatically post for you. And I would imagine that that doesn't go well algorithm wise. I don't know. So I'm not going to speak to that. But again, also that's not authentic. Like it needs to be your voice. And you know, also like people can just tell when it says posted by Sinduit, it's like they can tell that you are not really posting in the moment. Like, plus you don't know what's going on. What if you schedule a post and then like, you know, God forbid, like your dog gets sick and you're in the hospital with your dog. Like they're going to know you're not like posting something real. Like it's a way to get caught real fast with not being authentic. And the true way to grow in your coaching, you guys, is authentic connection. So I'm not saying it's bad. Some people utilize it, but I've never utilized it personally. Never been a fit for me. Like authenticity is the only way I've ever built my coaching business um, and help people. So good question. Uh, Don, anything you want to add to that before we hop into like some people sharing? No, just a whole lot of call out for Ashley to do a Snapchat training. So hopefully we can get that on the books. Okay. And here's another cool thing too. Okay. So actually like this is what's really cool because not that social media is the only way that we do it. And we will have this happen. Actually, again, and, and then you guys that everyone have been a coach for a while, like we now have two little ones. So one of us has to be watching the little one. So you either get me or you get Ashley and we try to figure out which one it is. So yes, Ashley needs to do a, uh, a training on that. Um, so there's a couple other things is Ashley gave a tip recently that you can also do stories on Instagram and you can link your stories to Facebook through Instagram. So you can be two places at once. You can also post on Instagram and have it shared to Facebook. That's awesome too. Be careful though. Don't do it more than once a day from what I can tell. I don't know the exact facts on this, but if you do it, Facebook does not like it when you constantly just post on Instagram and have it linked. It won't promote you in the newsfeed. Like if you guys have personally seen this, you've probably seen maybe one time where you short shared a uh, an Instagram post and it goes to your Facebook and you get comments on it, but maybe at one time you've done it like two or three times in a day and no one comments on your second or third post. It's because they don't like you doing that. So um, you can link your Instagram, be two places at once, but don't do like posts more than once, once a day because it doesn't like it in the algorithm. So um, Don, are you reading the chat? I just saw your face. Like, is there, what's going on? I just laughing at Dan's comment about about Sinduit <laughs> um, or or whatever. Um, I someone had a question and I'm trying to find it. Sorry. Um, yeah, keep going. I'll I'll pop in, Brad, if I see it. Hey, I th I'll hop in. I think it was about if you're using Buffer um, yeah. or like Hootsuite, right? Don, is that mm -hmm. the one you saw? Yeah. So um, you know and. There is, you know, I, w I agree with Brad, the authenticity is something um, that we have to watch. Some people who have, you know, full-time jobs and things, those can help keep a presence uh, up there, but don't lean in it completely, lean into it completely. You want to definitely, you know, in our, in our experience, mix it up some with being in the moment, like you said, uh, Brad, about your dog, you know, things like that. You want to watch and not get it too far planned out. But it does, I think those are some tools now and then that help people who can't 
post all the time that are maybe working full time and can't do it from work and things like that. Um, but it's, it's only another tool to add. It's not to replace being authentic and doing your posting um, personally. Exactly. And so that's why, I mean, thanks for recapping that, Kelly, because that's kind of why I was mentioning, like, you might need to do it. It might be like the thing that helps you, given the case, but those are my personal thoughts on it. Like in between, you know, use it or not use it or, you know, basically eat the fish, spit out the bones on your situation. So, um, yeah, this is really good stuff. Is this helpful for you guys, like to know like what to be doing, like how this works? Because I'm going to leave you with one last thing on this. And again, I don't want to just harp the three, three, and three. I want you guys to remember, these are the things, like if you see this screen right here, these are the things to be doing that will consistently grow your business and touch in each day. But the last thing on this, as far as this goes, I want you guys to think about someone who has a social media presence that you um, enjoy, speaks to you, or that when you just think of social media, like who's the first person you see or think about because of how they live their life and share uh, uh, out there on social media. Like, I'm sure all of you guys have the people you're thinking of. I don't know why, but obviously the best at it, Lisa Stewart, I just keep thinking of you. I can't open up my Instagram without you being the first person every single time. Or Don, because I see Natalie doing the dance in the, uh, in the Care Bear outfit. The point is, is, have people think about you. This is a chance for you to be in connection with people and be, be out there. So you can't just do it on social media only. You've got to be out there. Like I know April's going to share, I guess I bet you one of her tips is going to be get out there and be social with people. Like Dawn, we met you because we went to a party for a friend and met another person that changed their life and then met you. Like you got to get out there, but social media is a way to accelerate your connections, accelerate those touches to have that brand, that presence. So, all right, you guys. So these are some tips. This looks like it was helpful for you guys. All right. We're gonna, I'm gonna end today with like literally a barrage of things that you can go do. If you're like, okay, what do I do right now? Like we will give you, January is a time where it's like open season. Like you can go do whatever you want. It still takes daily action, but we will give you a list. But I wanted to grab a bunch of people because it's like, and I can talk to you guys all day long, but you guys are the ones doing the work. So like, I have a bunch of people. I just picked like a combination. Some people are traveling. Like Lindsay was covering a yoga class. She's out there being in connection. She read her highest front line volume in, uh, December and she grew to her highest group volume and she's sponsoring at a high rate. She's not here today. Abby's traveling. She was one of the other top people too. So I'm going to call on another person. So I'm going to call on April 1st to share some of her tips. She started, she's tied for first for the most clients started since December 1st. She has the third highest frontline volume in, um, in December. She has one of the top five highest frontline volumes this month. So she's shooting out of the gate. And her sponsoring rate is really good, which means she's not just diet focused on people and weight loss. She's actually sharing full health. So April, what super secrets do you have for all these people? They want to know what you're doing. Like, how do you approach this stuff? What tips do you have? Thanks, Brad. Okay. First of all, I would say that my number one word in which is, I, which I posted yesterday, thanks to borrowing it from my coach, Karen Taros. Thank you, Karen, um, is consistency. So uh, I, I don't stop and start. I'm consistent in everything. So the, when I look back at the last several clients that I started, um, and I looked at like where they came from, several of them did come from Facebook. Um, a few of them have been watching me for three years, three solid years. I may or may not have even spoken with them, but they've been watching my posts. And then some of them I friended just doing the three, three, and three. Um, I don't even know them, but they've been watching my posts. So one of the things about posts is that I am always positive, always. I am always consistent with, with being a health coach. So uh, it, has, it has to do with the branding. So I do not post pictures of alcohol, of hamburgers, of, of anything like that. No politics. I brand myself as a health coach. No mixed messages. Um, and then several came from meeting people at events, like Brad was saying. I'm not kidding you. I go to almost everything that I'm invited to, whether I want to go or not. Trust me, I didn't want to go to the Pampered Chef party. I'm just telling you. But I went because I met people there. Um, I went to a function last night. I was super busy, but I went. I only stayed for two hours. But it didn't matter. And then when I go to anything, I'm always mentioning that I am a health coach. If I can, I friend them on Facebook. 
Uh, if not, I give them my business card, you know, whatever it is, but I make sure that they know that I'm a health coach. Um, the next thing is that I lead with my health. Um, one of my new clients that signed up the other day, um, her, her stepmother said to me, April, you know what? We watched what you ate for dinner and you were an example of what you preach, you know, practice what you preach. And she signed up the next day. And that was a big deal to her that I had done that. So don't be going out there thinking that, you know, if you have, oh, this brownie in front of somebody or something like that, they're not going to notice because they're going to notice. Um, I also stay in structure. So that's one of the reasons why Brad, you know, helped me see my, my numbers and like where I was last year and where I am this year. And it's because of staying in structure. Um, I do my client support calls. I follow up with pre-clients. You know, all of them have health assessments. And, and I will tell you this, that I really attribute one of the big, big things that to the success I've had to listening to my mentors. I really lean into the mentors. And for those of you that didn't see Ashley's post the other day on the um, health coach support page, she had taken something that Jamil had written, but I'm telling you, read that. If you don't listen, one of the things he said is if you don't listen to your mentors, then they're not your mentors. They're your friends, but they're not your mentors. So if you're not doing what your mentors, the people that are way more successful than you are doing, just don't call them your mentors. They're your friends. Um, okay. And Brad asked, asked me also to, to talk about what I'm, I'm um, concentrating on for this year, for 2018. So basically the three things are, number one, improving connection, awakening clients to coaching. Um, number two, this is going to be the hardest one taking deep breaths and asking more questions, <laughs> really hard for me. Um, and then the third one is to continue my, to improve my own health. So um, that's what I've got for you. Thanks, Brad. So spot on, April. Thank you for the tips. You obviously have some super secrets here that no one else can do in your business. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That's super good. I love, I love that. Um, I love that quote. That was really funny. Jamil is a really, I love that guy. So awesome. I want to make sure I, I don't miss the chat here on a few different things. Um, but uh, Mindy, um, business cards, connect with your support team. Less information, the better. I've always viewed uh, cards as a conversation tool and as a getting information tool. Like, they don't need to have a lot of information on it. Like, at one point, Ashley and I's card was just a symbol, symbol of the uh, uh, Take Shape for Life symbol, our names and our number. That's all it was. We've had before and after photos on it, but simple. Good question there. Like, it's a conversation piece. April, love what you said. So much stuff. Being in structure of coaching, consistency. Because another thing, back to what you were saying, guys, is consistency creates trust. You know, back to our brand and our message. Like, how many people have reached out to April now because of people she layered a long time ago because she's consistent? How many people would have lost hope in their health because she didn't stay consistent? They would be like, oh, that thing that April was doing, it's not really happening anymore. I guess that's not another thing that I could do either. So, I would just really encourage consistency. So awesome. Nicole, I saw what you wrote in there, like leading on mentorship. So key. congrats on hitting Integrated National for the first time last month. So awesome. April, killer tips. I hope you guys are writing them down. Next thing. All right, let's see who I want to bring us. Uh, Lisa, the person I can't stop thinking about because you're all over Instagram. All right, what, are, what have you been doing? What would you attribute your success to in starting Coach as well? Bring, like being ultra consistent over the years. What are you, and what are you focusing on right now as you start the new year? All right. Um, I would say n number one, I'm going to follow what April just said is my health leading with my health, because I know if I'm not spot on with my health, that I'm not spot on. Um, I think I've really focused on um, branding myself as far as being very intentional when I post. Um, Every once in a while, I may steal some words from someone else's post, but you will never see me cut, copy, and paste anyone else's complete post. I might take a sentence out of your post, but I think it's really important to be original. Kind of stop and figure out who, who are you, who do you want to be, and who do you want people to see you as. So if you're a mom, if you're a grandma, if you're um, 
you know, and I think I really had to figure that out once it was a year and a half ago, I closed my real estate office after doing real estate for 28 years. So who am I? Who do I want to see people who see me as? Um, so, and I think, you know, just don't be original with your posts, really put thought into it. So um, when you're going to post something, don't just, oh, I saw that post and just repost because someone else posted it. Does that represent who you are? Um, and once you get in tune with that, you'll kind of get a little check. Like, yeah, yeah, that's, that's not really what I'm trying to say. Um, it may have looked really good on Brad's page, but for me to post it, it it's not me. It's not original. It's not me. So don't try to be someone else, be yourself. Um, you know, when Brad talks about Snapchat, I don't do Snapchat. I'm trying to, uh, not that there's anything against it, but I have had a couple of people ask me, should I do this? Should I do that? I'm like, do one thing and do it really well before you add something else in. So if you're not consistently doing Facebook, whether it's the three, 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 five, 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 um, I added 16 new clients in December dash and out of those 16 clients, half of those came from five, five, five people I did not know. So some of them came from, I asked people to post my story on their page. So someone was that, so out of half of my people, I did not know them two months ago. Um, and the biggest thing is like April said, that big word, the consistency 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 is and just because you're doing three 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 don't I, i've had some people say okay i'm done and send you a text they they did their three 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 by 10 a.m it spread it out throughout the day because like brad says people aren't seeing it and doing it and really being clear on who you want for business partners um and being bold about it, and it's kind of funny, I don't know if Brian's on here or not, is one of the uh, new coaches, uh, Brian Co. that actually was on my list to contact this month in January, him and his wife, actually reached out to me. And so if someone's on your heart and checking in, and Gary and I pray over our business all the time, so that should be if it's a check that something's going on that, you know, oh, hey, I should be reaching out. Um, you know, I've got some great new partners, um, just being very intentional when we start new clients to tell them. I, I honestly believe everyone needs to be a health coach, whether you're a referring health coach or whether you are actually become a health coach because you know people I don't know and watching people, whether they add one or five new clients or 20 new clients, those are people I would have never reached. So you just making that clear from day one. Um, I know just being intentional with that, um, Andrew and Tanya just got started. Same thing. You know, I just started dripping on them until they got sick of me and finally became coaches. <laughs> um, but they have a great weight, weight loss story. So they knew, you know, what to do. Just being bold, being consistent, plugging into your support system and your support team, Susan, it's probably heard from me more in the last three months than she's heard from me in the last three years. And, um, you know, just being very intentional and, you know, challenging her, like, you know, are you challenging your support team? Are you not, you know, not just asking them, gimme, gimme, gimme. Are you saying, Hey, wh what are you doing? How are you doing? How many clients you got? Um, you know, I know Susan was going for 10 and, ended up with 15 because I'm like, go for it. Don't, you know, but I think right now it's really important to stay consistent. We all had a great December. Don't let off the gas is to keep going full board. Um, and it's kind of hard if you were one that added a new, whole bunch of new clients, but to be, you know, I, I'm not concentrating on clients. So if you notice my posts, my posts are more geared towards coaches right now. Lifestyle, you know, my, post yesterday. I, my office was by my pool yesterday. It was 76 degrees here. So being, you know, thinking about what, who, what you're trying to add to your business and what you're trying to do is kind of the main thing. So those were the main things I have. Main, main things. Those are <laughs> awesome, Lisa. Well done. I like it. There's so many things that I want to say and that are good, but the chat was blowing up with all your ideas. I love your intentionality. I love the way you lead. Um, and I like the way you're looking too. People 
you know, you know, I, I, Dan Bell said this. For those that don't know, Dan Bell is uh, the co-founder of Optavia, and he's the, like one of the wisest, greatest men I know. And he always talks about like casting a vision for people. It's like, you know, he tells a story about the people that are building, like, you know, they go, they go by these construction workers, and one person's stacking bricks, and that person goes over there and asks, hey, what are you doing? And they say, I'm stacking bricks. And they go over to the other person working right next to him, and he says, hey, what are you doing? And they go, I'm building a cathedral. It's how big do you see it? What are you sharing with people? So, you know, there is so much need here. You guys know it. I'm talking, I'm preaching in the choir. But, like, what are you posting? Do people only know about the weight loss diet aspect of what we do? We don't diet, but, you know, what are you, what are you promoting? Or do they know the whole life transformation, growth, friendship, development, opportunity, whatever the case may be? Um, that's perfect. Be original. I guess on top of that, what I would say, Lisa, is I've tried, I've, I've found myself at different times trying to be other people when I'm inspired by them and not being my, not drawing inspiration, but trying to duplicate what they do. And it wasn't me. I wasn't at my best. My message wasn't complete. It threw me off. So don't try to be anyone else. Draw inspiration and be in action. That's why all of our steps are, all the steps insert your personality because don't try to be exactly. anyone else. That's not and right. it's fun. If you do find someone that you like their stuff, you know, save some stuff. And if you do use their stuff, don't use it the same week. Wait weeks. Go look at their old stuff, but change the words. Um, Allison and I, I'll message her, hey, I'm still in that, and I'm changing it up a bit, and of course, and, you know. Yep. And, you know, it is because someone, if I spent all day seriously writing up, it, it, and a lot of us do that. We, we actually spend our time writing what we're going to say and really put it into action. You know, it, it is totally us and spent time thinking about it and then when someone else just goes grabs it and posts it it just it kind of devalues what someone else just did so think about that so if you're following somebody and they're posting something and doing something their way that they've you know cloned their self don't go try to be mcdonald's they've got their own brand logo going on you know be original go be something else so um if that helps it does help. I love it, Lisa. Such good tips. So, and, and focus on what your business needs. So, all right, let's keep rolling through. We've got a few more examples. I don't think we're going to get to all of our examples today. I just love that we have so many. But let's, uh, let's go Jen. Jen, you are a new coach. I met you at convention when you were brand new. Last month, you ran, I can't remember if it was the highest, the second highest frontline volume. Um, I think you were tied for first with uh, everyone else for the most clients brought on since December new coaches, you're on fire, you exude everything. So I'm sure you're going to share something completely different than what Lisa and April share, but I'm going to have you share like what is working for you and what are you doing right now as you start the new year? Well, um, you know, it's funny because when you asked me last night, you know, what am I doing and this and that, I mean, a lot of it is exactly what April and Lisa just talked about, right? It's staying consistent uh, social media, right? So instead of doing the three by three by three, I'm probably doing the, you know, 20 by five by seven or whatever, you know, cause I'm, I just, I, I just kind of tend to take things to the next level and go a little bit overboard, I guess. It's just kind of my personality. So I'm definitely, you know, present on social media. Um, I think also just being available to my clients, um, trying to be available um, also, if someone reaches out to me to want to talk, I'm pretty intentional about trying to get on that day, you know, even, I mean, I even, here's an example of social media. I, um, I, I, uh, friended several people the other day and a lot of people I friend, we have a lot of mutual friends in common. So I didn't know this person. She lives up in Reno and she literally, I sent her a personal message and said, I'm so glad that we're Facebook friends. And then she um, literally texted me right back uh, within like three minutes and said, me too. And I'm, I'm really interested in, in what you do. And I'd love to um, chat sometime. And this is somebody I, I, I didn't know. And so I texted her right back. Sure. Do you want to chat now? Because I happen to have the time right then. And she's like, yeah, here's my number. So I called her and we talked. And so that's just a little example of, of actually what, what can happen from just friending even people that, you know, I didn't really know her, but, um, 
but I was excited to get to know her. So we talked and so forth. So anyway, that's just a social media example. But so being available, I guess, is my point. And when people want to talk, right, getting on the phone with them, like I try as much as I can to get on that day, if possible. Um, and then trainings um, like this, okay, that's one of the things that I made a top priority for myself when I first became a coach. Any training that was available to me, coughing consistency, the Monday night call, anything like that, I put it in my planner and I went and I showed up and that and it's being consistent with showing up, just making it a part of what you do. If I want this business to be successful for myself, I'm going to go to every training that I can as well as reach out to my mentorship. I mean, I, they are probably so tired of me by this point because I just am constantly asking questions, constantly reaching out, constantly saying, can you help me with this? Can you get on this call with me with a coach or whatever? Uh, because I know it's important and I, and I know that they have my best interest in mind as well. And so reaching out to my support is huge. Um, as well as when I first became a coach, man, I got that simple systems on my phone and I was watching every single video on that simple system. And even if they're old videos, you know what? It's still all good stuff. And it still really gave me so much of the information that I needed that I was daily, talk about consistency. I was daily consistent in watching like a video a day just to get all the information that I needed to make this a successful business for us. Um, and then I'll say the last thing that I'll say, and everybody else has said it already, leading with your own health, right? I, I'm pretty like militant on my own five and one plan. I mean, we all have slip ups, but um, I'm pretty militant and people know it. People know that like I'm leading with my own health. I'm exercising. I'm, I'm doing the stuff that I want to do to be the best version of myself. And part of that health piece is my own personal development. Um, I'm just going to keep it real here. This is unplugged. This is I love you guys. And you know what? Everybody who is probably on this call right now has a health story. And they have a story of probably maybe being a little bit miserable in their life. Maybe it was a year ago. For me, that's what it was. It was about a year ago. Um, maybe it was two years ago, three years ago, four years ago, whatever that was for you. Being in touch with how miserable I was in my life. And, and I mean, there were times that like, I literally broke down crying to this guy saying, I don't like who I am. I don't like who I've become. And um, Optavia and this program has helped me become, create the person that I wanted to be. And so I've done that through deciding for myself who I want to be and doing that through personal development, getting up really early in the morning. And I do some meditation. I do some visualization. Um, I read, right? I'm reading like this book right now, The Observer's Chair, right? all on self-esteem, self being work, feeling worthy. And so, um, and then of course the exercise. And so I'm going to leave you with one last thing. This is an affirmation that I basically read to myself every day. And I truly believe that this is part of the reason that I have become the better version of myself, become the person that I wanted, that I really wanted to be. Because I tell myself every day, I read this affirmation out loud. Okay. So it says, I am just as worthy, deserving, and capable of achieving extraordinary levels of success and all of my goals as any other person on earth. And that the only thing that separates me from those at the top is my level of commitment. So from this moment on, I am a hundred percent committed to becoming the person I need to be through daily personal development and living with daily discipline to easily attract, create, and sustain the levels of success that I truly want and deserve in my life. And I truly believe that if you live your life on purpose, and if you live your life with intention, you know what? People are attracted to that. They want what I have because all of a sudden I've become the person that I want to be, and that's, that's attractive to people. And that's why I think Living out loud on social media and putting all that out there, 
people are attracted to that and they're like, gosh, what is it? She's changed. There's something different about her. What is she doing? And so I'll just leave you with that. That's what I got for you. Hot dang. That's pretty good. Um, amazing, Jen. And, um, it, and there's so many great things that I want to say there. It's basically like you did all the same things that we covered here. You just did more of them. You did them with more intention and you spent the time leading. Another cool thing about your health is you don't make it about yourself like you're a champion. You, you lead with your health and you welcome everyone to join you. It's not about you. It's about everyone doing it. So like, there's a way to make it about yourself and there's a way to make it about you moving forward and inviting everyone to join with I know Jason's also been pivotal with this. You guys have gotten healthy together. So like Jason, like, do you have anything that you add to this? Because everything adds up. Like your story adds in there. Like how, how have you guys done this together? Because I know you guys have talked about people you guys want to reach together and you guys have even added momentum to that as bringing it together. Wow, Brad, great to see you. I appreciate that. I was just going to be the guy in the background today, but you know, <laughs> you know me, I'm never short for words. But honestly, um, at this point, I can tell, you know, there's not room for for two bulldogs in the same ring, I guess, is the best way to put it. So I'm trying to take a back seat a little bit, make sure everything gets handled at home. Uh, watching her, you know, I, I did become a coach. I have a whopping two clients. So, you know, if you want to put that into perspective, um, I am definitely not at the level Jen is, but I'm just slowly learning and uh, just watching what she does and trying to use that as an example. Um, you know, my Achilles heel is I just got on Facebook like a month ago. So I'm, I'm a pretty... <laughs> You know, I'm a newbie with that. So listening to all that and watch her show me how to, you know, do all the cut and paste and get a hold of the clients and send them what they need. So you're not going to get a whole lot from me as far as all you guys out there watching going, wow, this guy's going to have some magical wisdom. I don't, um, <laughs> but I love what everybody's doing. And I'm just, you know, kind of, I'm, I'm more of the slow cooker instead of she's the microwave. <laughs> and she's been just running with it like beyond my wildest dreams but um you know just to support her and be there and i i'll give her some tidbits on maybe how to handle something um but you know for for you spouse teams you know it is the line that you drew for what success looks like uh we've definitely ran some circles and for a while it seems like you might be going backwards but eventually you're going to make that full circle and it's going to spit you out in the direction you need to go so well, that's all i have read well said, my man. Jen, April, Lisa, great tips. And also, Jason, to you, example here. Like, this is an ability, like, this is, goes back to what we have to offer people. We have uh, the opportunity to give people options, to change people's lives, to have purpose. So it doesn't matter what you are doing, everything adds up. Back to the momentum, those two clients, those extra reach outs, those extra drips, they all add up over time. So, guys, remember that. I have a bunch of people more that we, we could have shared. Um, we'll probably have maybe them drop some tips in the Facebook group, but I want to make sure we end up like really solidly. I think everyone got the point of these, these tips. So I want to thank everyone that shared. So Jen, Jason, Lisa, April, great stuff here. Um, this is where I want to go as we wrap up here today. Like, so with one, drop me a one in the chat. If this has been helpful for you to see that vision, it literally just comes down to the action here. So I know you guys know it because you guys are doing it. Like we're off to a record start. So like this is again, so bringing it back here today as we wrap up. Action items to do right now. Draw a line in the sand and we, I invite you guys to the people that want to fully commit and blow up their January and set, start their way. These are the things to be doing right now. These are what the pros do. And if it, anything else, the same people say the same thing over and over again that are touching the most lives that are going like, Jen, you doubled your, your teaching salary within six months, like of last month's income. Like you're changing lives. Anyways, it's so much cool what's possible. Like April, you got rid of your jobs from last year. There are so many things possible as you guys start this year. If you start with this, lead one step at a, one step, one step at a time. And like Lisa said, do what your business needs. That's what the key is to be doing right now. So let me go over a few examples like of what to be doing here. Okay, number one is your map. I just want to go over some tangible things on this. So like, this is Nicole's. She's awesome. So like, I want to show you this. Make sure at the very beginning of the month, on the last day of the month, fill out your map. Write down your goals, where you're at, current reality. Understand your business. Anything worth doing is, no, is doing well. Know your business. And then up here for this month, if you haven't done this yet, I know you guys have all done this, but I'm just going over it. Write down your goals at the top. Feel free to write down income goals too. Like you guys, you guys should be paid well for doing a good job. One thing I would encourage you is up your goals this month. 
there is like open season. You can do anything you want. There's so many, like it's so possible. So make sure you carry your support team to find out what's possible. And I would encourage you to think bigger. This is a time to create a wave of your business. Over here, talking about working your map daily, focus on the people that are the closest to choosing help. As you're sharing, as you're connecting, make sure they make it on your list that are at the top of the people that are connected, you're connecting with that are getting started. Um, over here, make sure you're so focused on the people. Like April, I loved your, your, your example of taking a breath and focusing on others. Make sure you're not missing the connection of what's possible with coaches and dripping that, especially during this time. Do your clients right here. And like, like Nicole does a great job of, cross them off as you go through each week. Like each week, I, I check my client orders and I cross them off the list before I call them. One, it lets me know, like, one, it keeps me accountable to my business. But two, I can understand more of what's going on with my clients. You can tell everything from their order. More of that later. And then also right here, help your coaches. Again, back to the other tip. Work with your coaches. And make sure you're working with them daily that you want to move forward. So that's what your map is. Don't just fill it out as a do list. Use it daily and where you want to go. If you commit to what you write down up here, that's why most people excel at it. What you focus on is what you create. So that's the way to use the map. Your hundreds list. Make sure you have it. Touch it daily. Like those three, three, and three that I'll break down in a second, it comes from this list. Just making connections, adding to the list, adding people that you meet out and about, making sure you get them into your routine. That's the key. So make sure you have that there. January, massive action. We talked about all of this. Um, I already covered all this. So like, these are some things. So grab your notepad. These are the things you can do right now on top of setting the tone for those basics we talked about. Is commit to massive actions on your three, three, and three. or 25 and three, like Jen said, um, whatever it is you want to do. I love that because like I showed you before with the social media, it adds up. It's a difference of momentum maker. Like you can do it part way, but it's like, you guys know the deal with horsepower. If you have one horse, you have one horsepower. If you have two horses, is you don't have two horsepower. You have like eight horsepower, like because your action on top of each other builds momentum. So what this looks like, and we'll break down more of this later, is three authentic posts a day, pictures, uh, Facebook stories, stories of stuff you like, pictures of your family, pe welcoming people into your life, going live. These are key things that'll put you up in front of more people. Messages, three messages a day, like message people, like start conversations or direct messages. Think about your messages like this. Who can I directly reach out to first? And then if you run out of people directly to reach out to, start your passive messaging where you just start conversations. If you're in conversations, you will be in, in touch with more people. Again, it also ups your Facebook algorithms. Three friend requests a day and adding to your list. There is an endless amount of people to meet that out there in the world if you're trying or through referrals or through that. It's not a Facebook hack. Don't try to go add people you don't know. Be in a relationship and committed to adding people and adding people connections to your life and to your list. You do that. That is the key to success. Um, again, get your social media on point. Profile picture, is it a before and after or something that inspires help? Your banner, is it uplifting? Back to April's point, is your Facebook positive? Place of work, does it say that you're a health coach or does it say that you're like, you work at Pillsbury Doughboy Factory? Like, you know, just let people, like, when you're in connection, people are gonna go to your page. They're gonna find out about you in less than 10 seconds. What does your Facebook page say about you? Your bio, all these things, your last few posts, what you represent. Um, and again, this isn't like, this isn't like hammering, like, like sales tactics, this is like, what do people feel energy-wise about you when they see your stuff and when they interact with you? Be prepared to connect daily each time, each day, like what Jen was saying, I have your follow-up day, your pockets of time to connect, um, all of those things in there, make sure that that's in there. So here's, here's like the massive things you can do as we wrap up today. I would say besides drawing a line in the sand on all the things that we talked about and taking massive action, building your brand, committing to the three, three, and three, or upping that is straight up right now. We all follow up days so key. I would sit down and do massive follow-up. It's the easiest time in the world to reach out to people. Everyone's thinking diet. You can invite them to take their health to the next level with you. I would say the top thing to do is sit down and personally invite as many people as possible to join you in health. Past clients, refresh with current clients, Potential clients you have shared with, don't forget about them. Everyone on their list, it's an easy time to reach out. Be bold and invite. And I would say, I can't stress this enough, personal invitation. Because you can't copy and paste back to Lisa's point. You'll know what to say to the right person to inspire them, invite them. But so many people are looking for help. 
people love to do it with people, invite them along. One of my favorite, just like generic ones is like, hey, I'm taking my health to the next level this year. Is that something you're interested in? Or something to that effect. Invite them to step up their game with you. So that's one. Have your clients, here's another idea. Have your clients post your before and after. Or there, if you can set up a side-by-side. Do you know how cool it is when you take your clients side-by-side picture and show them their progress? Like, have you guys done that? They light up because they don't realize how far they come. Lisa, I think that was a tip of yours. Plus, like, if, if they're on your list for coaching, duh, they're starting their own clients right there. Like, you might have to talk about it because so many people reach out. Offer double referral credits right now. Get people, get your clients, get your people. They don't even have to be your clients. Offer referral credits or incentives for people referring to you. Get people in the habit of referring people to you because if you build your brand, people will send people to people that are consistent and have value. Double that up. Teach people from the very beginning of the year to send people to you because they know that you've changed your life and you change other people's lives too. Incentives for new or returning clients. Like it's open season right now. People are doing like, you know, coming to you. Feel free to offer an incentive for people to get restarted or to get started. It's an investment in the wave of your new year. I wouldn't offer anything more than $25 or $50 because that's just enough for them for to be in conversation. Anything more like is just a waste of money, to be honest, or is not a full commitment in their health. So that would be my recommendation. Invite into coaching Larry and Drippy. Like this is the time to invite the coaches, dripping from the beginning, casting that vision, inviting boldly on that, starting and dripping from the very beginning because January is the easiest time for people to get started. So be thinking about that. I'm gonna have a little bit more of that in a second. Go live and share your story on Facebook. Bring other people. You can bring other people on. Like so, like if you have a client that you want to interview on that, or a coach of yours, or your coach, or, or a buddy coach, like you can interview them, like to talk about health, like getting bold and having people see what's how it's possible. Invite to elevate. That's the event we're doing next weekend. Or have your own event or have a healthy happy hour. Jen, I know that you guys like had a big event where you invited all your clients and potential clients and you just had a fun evening. You did what your business needed and it was a really good opening event for people to come to and learn more. Here is an Ashley Miller tip. Oh, I forgot that, this is not Ashley Miller. Do a real stories of health call. Connect with your support team. If that's something you wanna to do to be able to invite, to have people come explore, do that. Add a before and after album to your Facebook page. Ashley does that and she constantly adds three or four people to it every so often so it shows up in people's news feeds. It's like an easy going thing so people see it. It's so awesome. Another thing right now, just take extremely good care of your clients. Partner with them. Develop relationships. Support them. I always love Becca Tinter's quote on this. Um, one well taken care of client could be your key or your doorway to an amazing partner that changes lives or, or just a referral source of hundreds of people that could change lives. Like, like for instance, like again, just another example. I went to a party with Ashley because we wanted to help someone get healthy and like layer them because well, plus we wanted to be there anyways. We met another gal that got healthy there. That person led us to Dawn because Dawn saw that person's journey. How many people's lives have changed because of that one interaction? Everything adds up really well. So take care of your people, come alongside them. That's when people will refer to you. It adds to your way. So that's what I got for you. Write down that list. And these are things that you can be taking massive action right now, different ideas on. And if you got other ideas, drop them in the chat. But right now, on top of all this, is the right time to be sponsored. Right now is the easiest time to bring on coaches. It's a no-brainer. Like, people can get healthy together. Like, that's the easiest time to build your coaching business is when you are starting your journey. So identify people. Pay attention to the people in front of you, not just trying to get coaches, find out what the fit is for people and what they need and make those matches and invest in inviting them. Remember, don't, don't tell someone, like Ashley, this is, I, this is why Ashley did this training. She's a big fan of like, don't tell someone they'd be a good coach. Are you layering or inviting? Invite someone to come on there. You can do the drips, you can do the, the like priming the pump, but make sure you're inviting to coaching, which is so key. Plant seeds early, do the above steps that I just talked about. Include, um, include your clients early in integration call. You know, get them on the health coach, plug them in with our community, help them meet your support team, let them know that this is gonna change their life and that they've got this. Um, invite to explore, assuming they'll be ready. Many action steps um, assist people to the next steps like that I was talking about before. Like if they post on Facebook for you, like as a referral, that might be your first client. Like many of you guys are coaches because so many people were being referred by you that you were like, well, why don't I just coach? That's the easiest way. Referring client is like your next coach right there. So, and again, the other reason why I do this, I want to finish this up as we wrap up here. 
The other reasons why I like seeing people refer becoming a coach is like for me and just for the history of doing this for almost a decade, when someone decides to pay it forward or starts thinking about other people and referring them, that's when I know they're not going back in their health. So if you want to be a great health coach to people, help them focus beyond that just themselves. That's when I know people aren't going back. Just like all you guys are going back. If you're so focused on other people, your health is a given. Anyways, the last thing on this is share boldly right now on social media. Like Lisa said, what does your message say? This is the time to invite. Bring on people right now. We're going to have a new coach training at the end of the month, and we're also going to have a um, – so for those that have done the coffee and consistency, it's where we go over all the basics to keep coaching simple, easy, duplicatable. We're going to be doing that at the end of the month. Another reason to sponsor right now is help people come in the gate, have their first few clients, and join us for that training series because you guys all know that plug in and do it. You guys saw massive growth and more people getting healthy than you ever thought possible. So those are the action steps. As you guys is like – that give you guys some stuff to do i see you guys all writing like does that give you guys some stuff to do yep yes i like it all right here um let me see here there's 70 chat things here i don't know if i'll be able to keep up with them all right you guys that's everything that's what we wanted to cover today like now like i love it we have over 100 people on the start of january you guys know what I'm talking about with all of this. You guys have been consistent. Now you know like what to do with these things. So what I would encourage you guys to do is take a look at that. Make sure you can check off all those boxes right there. Oh my God, I need someone to put. Uh, make sure you can check off all those boxes. And I would encourage you guys to go into massive action and do any and all of those things that we listed there. Like I wouldn't try to do all of them. I'm just giving you ideas of what you can be doing out there. There's an endless amount, but I would start with the most direct of sitting down and reaching out to people and start your consistency factor right now. Um, I have one last thing that I wanted to throw out because I just like doing fun things because if coaching is not fun, you're not doing it right. We have a lot of people working towards executive director for the first time this month in January. I want to throw out a thing for you guys on top of all of this. Like do the action. It works. If you're a, someone going for executive director the first time, I know this isn't huge because your compensation will be super amazing. But if you do this action step so much that you blow past bare minimum executive director and you know, have a coach or not on your team, but you run over 7,000, Ashley and I will personally write you a check for $100 on top of that. I want to give you a check for literally proving that you guys can do this and take it to the next level of your business. It's so easy to be doing the steps right now. It's open season. Go out there. Like, Jen, I loved it. You have the affirmation and you stay consistent on these things. And like, look at that. Did you ever think you'd be helping as many clients as you're helping right now, Jen? Like, nope, not at all. I, I, I love that. So guys, that's how simple it is. This is how to take on your January. I'll post these action steps in the support page as well as I'll have a few people share some of the main things they're doing right now since we couldn't get to everyone today. You guys, right now, like we'll have our training next month. That'll be good. We always grow through that and we always have extreme growth after that. But right now is the time for the people that really want to see great things start your consistent action right now and start and commit to the consistency of what we wrote above. You guys are killing it. Like seriously, this is the best month we've ever started out with. So many people are getting healthy. And the last thing I'll share with you guys is just at the root of all this, I just want to slow down for one second. Think about your health. Think about some of the people that you've already helped how many lives will change from your commitment to action over this next little bit. It's going to be huge. It's all about connections and we're changing the world one person at a time, giving them hope. So on top of the personal benefit for yourself, remember the people that will like the breakthroughs that'll happen on here. So with all that being said, you guys have a great January. It's go time. That's it. Those are the steps. Thanks for everyone that shared. Let's go do it. If you have questions, I'll just ask a few minutes afterwards. But you guys, you guys are already doing it. So go do more of it and partner with people to do the same. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks, Brad. Thanks for everybody that, uh, that shared.